Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today I am doing the Beyond the Booktuber tag. This is a tag that was created by Rachel from Rachel Reads and it's a little tag to help you get to know the booktuber a little bit better, get to know like their interests and hobbies outside of booktube, but everything does come back down to books so don't worry. There's some really good questions and I'm very excited. Thank you so much Rachel for tagging me. Without further ado, let's get straight into the questions. This is my third time filming this video but we're not going to talk about that. I'm feeling very fall vibes today because of my outfit and then I got, I got an iced macchiato with the brown sugar syrup with like extra syrup of course and it definitely tastes like fall to me <laughs> my starbucks i love starbucks it's amazing i love caffeine <laughs> I'm, house. I'm, house. I'm ready for fall. Who's with me? Yeah! Now the first question is actually several questions in one and it is what is your favorite book, series, genre, and author? One of my many favorite books is Wistress by Nadine Brandes. This is a Christian fantasy and I'm not gonna like give you a whole synopsis or read the whole back. I'm just gonna read you like this little, I don't know what you call it, tagline up at the top. But it says her tears grant wishes. Her next tier will end her life. Tell me that doesn't sound super intriguing. This is YA, there's magic, there's romance, there's a really good Christian allegory. What more could you ask for? One of my favorite series is The Ravenwood Saga by Morgan L. Bussey. This is book one, Mark of the Raven. And this is another Christian YA fantasy. And this one says, Dreamwalker, Night Watcher, Lady of Ravenwood. Lady Selene has come into her family's power, but has she inherited a gift or a curse? This is one of my favorites ever. It also has romance and the different characters have different powers. It's it's very good. My favorite genre, if you couldn't guess it by the two books I already talked about, is fantasy. But coming in at a close second would be historical Christian romance. As far as favorite author goes, I have a lot. But one of my favorite authors would have to be Joanna Davidson Politano. She writes Christian historical romance with a little bit of a mystery in them. The romances are really good and really sweet. And and I like her mysteries because it's never like a murder or anything. It might be a mystery about like who a person is or someone's past or a lost fortune or something like that. They're really good. She's an amazing author. I've loved all of her books. Question number two is what's your favorite color? Now pick a book with that color. Now this answer changes depending on just when you ask me and what my mood is I guess but sometimes I say my favorite color is gold but a lot of people will tell me that gold does not count. So if gold doesn't count I would say my favorite color is like mauve. I don't have a book that is the exact shade that I like, but the closest I could find to my favorite color is The Lost Melody by Joanna Davidson Politano, and it's actually in the spine. She's the author that I was talking about that is one of my favorites, so it's Christian historical romance, and this is about a woman who goes to an asylum in like the Victorian era, and she goes there to investigate and find out about a person and she ends up getting stuck there and they won't let her leave and they tell her that she's crazy and so she can't leave and so she's like trying to escape and this one is a is more on the kind of eerie side in my opinion her books are not creepy at all but i think this one is a little bit eerie because she's stuck in an asylum and it's kind of scary there number three is what's your favorite season pick a book set in that season or a book you want to read during that season. My favorite season is fall. It used to be spring, but the last several years it has become fall. I get so excited for fall every year. I just like am counting down the days until fall and the weather turns a little cooler. So for this one, I'm going to pick a book that I would like to read during the fall and I'm going to pick Spectres and the Glass House by Jamie Jo Wright. That book is releasing this October and I'm so excited to read it. The cover is so good good and I always look forward to all of Jamie Jo Wright's books. She's another one of my favorite authors and she writes dual timeline Christian romance and suspense. Pause while I answer a text. Please remain on the line. Okay I'm back. Number four is what's your favorite movie? Pick a book that has the same impression. I have lots of favorite movies, but for this question, I'm going to go with Ever After, the Cinderella retelling with Drew Barrymore. If you haven't seen that movie and you like stuff like that, it is so good. I highly recommend. I always watch it with my mom. We've seen it dozens of times and we quote it. I shall try. And I shall wait all day. It's one of our faves. So the book that I chose for this that has the same impression is a little bit of like a cheating answer. This is The Captive Maiden by Melanie Dickerson and it's cheating 
because this is just another Cinderella retelling. This is part of the Hagenheim series. It is set in medieval Germany and it is Christian, YA or like teen. So in this book, her name is Gisela. Her father has died and so now she lives with like her stepmother and steps. Does she have stepsisters in this one? Yeah, she does. Um, and they're just like mean to her and don't treat her right. And she's basically like a servant in her own house. And then she meets the Duke's son and he's a little rough around the edges, but she catches his eye and he catches her heart. That's a lot of cheese there, Margaret. Number five, what's your favorite series? Pick a book you want to see turned into a series. Now I did answer this question earlier with the Ravenwood saga, but this is just an opportunity to talk about another favorite series. And I'll be very surprised if y'all do not know what's coming, but I'm going to talk about the Ilion Chronicles by J.L. Knight. Only briefly, just briefly, don't click away just for a second. I've said this so many times and I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I'm going to say it again. This book series needs to be made into a TV series. It would be such a good show. I can perfectly picture it in my mind. It would be so good. It's so perfect. This is a Christian non-magical fantasy series. What a new adult and I never really know exactly how to describe this because I feel like the way I describe it makes it sound really boring but I don't really know what to say. It's it has a lot of books and a lot of stuff happens but there's these people and they're being persecuted for worshiping the one true God and not worshiping the false gods that the emperor has decreed that everyone must worship or die. So these people like have to hide out from the emperor and not get caught and kind of worship in secret so there's a lot about like persecution in here and then there's like wars and like fighting and like all the things and there's also like romance and it has all the good stuff that a, a fantasy series should have. And then it's got the Christian allegory. So it's just like the icing on the cake. It's the cherry on top. Okay, I talked about that series a little longer than I meant to. I'm sorry. The other series that I wanted to tell you about because I always talk about that one is the River of Time series by Lisa T. Berggren. This is a Christian time travel series about two sisters. Their mom is like an archaeologist and they're on one of her dig sites and they end up getting sucked back in time to medieval Italy and then they meet these handsome knights and things ensue and I just think this would make a really cool series. I've only read the first two books so far book one is my favorite it's so good. I just think this will make a really fun series. What do you guys think? Because I think it would be perfect. Number six who's your favorite bible character? Pick a similar fictional character. So one of my favorite bible characters is Paul the apostle and and I'm going to cheat a little bit with this answer too and pick Sir Gavin from Kingdom's Call by Chuck Black. This is book four in the Kingdom series. This is a medieval Christian middle grade teen series and the entire series is an allegory to the Bible and it parallels the Bible so it takes you all the way from like Genesis to Revelation. It's very very interesting and the reason I am cheating with this answer is because Sir Gavin literally represents Paul. So it's kind of cheating. But like, uh, I mean, also kind of perfect. Yeah, Sir Gavin, he is a noble knight. He's very zealous and passionate about persecuting and like imprisoning followers of the prince because the prince is claiming to be the king's son and everyone's like, how dare you? No, you're not. Spoiler alert, he actually is. Stop spoiling it, you vile woman! But then things happen and Sir Gavin, he has to face some things and learn the truth about things. Number seven is what's your favorite food slash dessert? pick a book with food on the cover or heavy in the story. I will just be maybe more general and say I really love Italian food. That's like probably my favorite type of food. I love pasta, cheese, like sauce. I love bread, any kind of bread, like just give me all the carbs. I love shrimp. That is one of my favorite foods for sure. I love like battered and fried shrimp. I love shrimp in my pasta. I love grilled shrimp. Favorite dessert, probably cake, probably chocolate cake. Good classic old-fashioned chocolate cake with chocolate icing is probably my favorite. I like sugar. I'm going to pick The Fruitcake Murders by Ace Collins. I read this book ages ago, so at the time I liked it and I remember giving it I think four stars. Thinking back on it now, I'm not sure that I would be so generous with that rating. Um, something I remember about the book is it had like a lot of typos in it. That's something that sticks out to me. People were getting murdered with old tins of fruitcake. Also, can someone just explain fruitcake to me? Because uh, I've never had fruitcake, so I can't say I don't like it. I can just say it doesn't look good, and I see stores selling it every year for Christmas. And in the movies, everyone always brings fruitcake to like the Christmas party. And I'm just like, I've never actually known anyone that eats it. I would try fruitcake. I'm just saying it doesn't look good. It doesn't sound good. So I'm very skeptical. And so so I just like don't understand because I feel like no one actually buys it, but I see it everywhere. That's just a little side rant. Sorry about that. Number eight, what hobbies do you have besides reading? Have you read a book featuring one of those hobbies? So I have a lot of hobbies. I like to scrapbook. I like crafty things. Um, I like to film videos. Yeah. 
Thank you, Catherine Obvious. I sing, I play guitar, I play the ukulele, I love to shop, but I also really like to bake. So I'm going to pick a book that has to do with baking for this question, and I'm going to pick the book More Than Words Can Say by Karen Wittemeyer. This is book two, I think it is, in the Patchwork Family series, and this is a Christian historical romance. This woman is gonna like lose her family bakery because her father died, and in this town, women are not allowed to own a business so she needs to like marry some guy so that his name can go on the deed and she can keep her bakery and keep running it the way that she sees fit so she like proposes to this man and it's actually so cute and one of my favorite books ever if you like historical romance or are interested in the marriage of convenience trope highly recommend question number nine is who posted the last booktube video you watched pick a book you saw on their channel that you loved or want to read soon so the last video that I watched was by Tabitha the last video that I watched was by Tabitha Gabrielle. If you're not subscribed to her, what are you doing with your life? Whoa, calm down, Jamal. She's so funny and her editing is top tier. The last video I watched specifically was her birthday vlog, so I'll have that video linked down below. But one of the books she talked about in one of her videos recently was Date with Danger by Jenna Faith, was it? I can't remember the author. I think that was it. That's a, a clean rom-com and I'm actually planning on reading that with Lucy from the Lucy Chronicles starting tomorrow actually so yeah I'm very excited about it number 10 the last prompt is to tag some people so I'm going to tag Lucy from the Lucy Chronicles Tabitha Gabrielle Katie from paperbacks and ponytails Holly from lovely day with Holly T from faithfully reading Lou from Christian faith and fiction and Emily from Hobart's library thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your answers to these questions are if you don't have a YouTube channel. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about today. Thank you again, Rachel, for creating this tag and for tagging me. I'll have her original tag video linked down below. Don't forget to check her out and subscribe. You guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next Bookish Ramblings video. Bye.